Hello everybody and welcome to your 35th chapter in your Java E7 tutorial series. In this chapter, we'll demonstrate how to use the embedded Enterprise Bean container to run Enterprise Bean applications in the Java SE environment outside of a Java EE server. What that means is that if you're tired of running your Java EE server, which in this case, which is our Glassfish server, if you're tired of running that every single time to uh, like do your applications, you can actually use a smaller version of an Enterprise Bean container to test out your EJBs before they go out to your uh, like production environment. So a little overview, what is an embedded Enterprise Bean container? The embedded Enterprise Bean container is typically used for testing Enterprise Beans without having to deploy them to a server. Most of the services in the Enterprise Bean container or EJB container in a Java EE server, or in this case, our Glastris server, are available in the Enterprise Bean container as well, which is our embedded Enterprise Bean container. These similar things are injection, container managed transactions, and security. This makes testing Enterprise Beans extremely simple and easy, as they function the same in both the embedded Enterprise Bean container and the EJB container in the Java EE server. So enough rambling, let's take a look into an example of what I'm talking about. Inside our NetBeans, let's go ahead and open our project. Make sure that once again you navigate to your EJB down here inside your examples. And then you go into your, um, your, let's see, your standalone example. So this standalone example demonstrates how to create an instance of the embedded enterprise bean container in a JUnit test class and call a session bean business method. So testing business methods of an enterprise bean in a unit test allows developers to exercise the business logic of an application separately from the other application layers, such as the presentation layer and without having to deploy the application to a Java EE server. So what that means is that you can have a source package, which is your regular like code, which is in your source packages over here, standalone bean. And then you can have a test package, which tests your bean out before you actually like deploy it onto your server. So this is your regular simple session bean exposing a local no interface view with one business method that returns greetings. It's a stateless session bean, so you don't have to worry about um, like taking care of states and stuff. It's a really simple session bean. Next, this is our test bean. So here over here, this is a JUnit test class that acts as a client to a standalone bean using the embedded container. So one thing that you want to take a look at is, first of all, when you go into here, you can see that it first takes the instance of an EJB container, which is our embedded uh, enterprise bean container. We then have a context and a logger, which logs all the stuff inside our output tab. Once uh, then all you got to do is you see that there is an add before which runs this up, which sets up everything. So it initializes our EJB container and it initial and it gets the context of our EJB container. Then uh, don't worry about this right now. <laughs> Let's go to our test inside this return message. So what it's doing is first it's logging in saying that it's testing this standalone bean right over here. And then it uh, gets the like the, it gets the lookup. So it looks up right here. It goes into your um, like your Java code and then it runs this command and then it goes into all your classes, gets the standalone bean class and then gets the expected results, which will be stored in your result. And this is the expected result that it's you're supposed to have. And then it asserts, making sure that those two are the same. Finally, once those are all done, this after annotation sets that this method runs last and it gets rid of uh, any like um, it gets rid of any instance of this EJB container. Although this is not necessary, this really helps you out because uh, this EJB container, uh, like it takes up a lot of resources in your um, computer. So just tearing it down and making sure that it, it's closed, it really helps out in the long run. OK, so all you got to do now is start your Glassfish server, so making sure that that has started. And once that's started up, let's go into your standalone bean, right click and go ahead and click test. 
So what this is doing is this will execute the JUnit test class, the standalone bean test, and the output tab shows the progress of the test and the output log. And as you can see, it's successfully built, which means that this over here, our test run message has not thrown an exception. And this greetings is equal to the result of your greetings shown in your standalone bean. And that's it. That's all there is about embedded enterprise bean containers. So once again, this chapter demonstrates how to use the embedded enterprise bean container. And we've shown how to um, run these EJBs without having to deploy them onto the Java EE container. This saves you time and energy and make sure that your EJBs work right before they go out to your production environment. But now that you got that, let's go right ahead into our next chapter, which is going to be using asynchronous uh, method invocation in session beans.